Hi everybody, welcome to today's Naked Truth. Thank you for being here. Um, I know this is a little bit different of a Naked Truth because I titled this Let's Play a Game. And the game that we're going to be playing today is called Curious Humans. Those of you who followed me for a while know that I uh, love board and tabletop games. And um, the creator of this game actually reached out to me and said, hey, I saw your Naked Truth on Sexy Party Games and thought if you like that kind of game, maybe you'd like my game. And we got to talking and we ended up emailing for a few months, actually. And um, I just got it in the mail. And because you guys are my friends that I'm essentially having over to play this party game right now, I thought this is great because it's really just topics for discussions and that's what The Naked Truth is all about. So hi everybody. Um, right away I want to go ahead and thank Cyclops TB for uh, donating $5 through Super Chat about four hours ago. I didn't see if there was a comment with the Super Chat, but I did want to thank you so much for the donation. And if you're here and I missed the comment, please tell me again. Um, Hey guys, O'Shea the EX is celebrating a friend's birthday today. Happy birthday. Um, some of you will notice that my hair is dry. I did shower, but I did not wash my hair because now that I have this like fun blue and purple and stuff underneath, um, I can't wash my hair as often or else the color will fade faster. So due to all of this unicorn color on the underneath of my hair, I did not wash my hair today. I just showered. So there we go. There we have it. Um, Shady X says, wait, a sexy party game? So here's the deal. So Curious Humans, for I haven't played it yet, you guys will be my first time playing it, has four different categories. They are titled Sexy, Awkward, Controversial, and General. Um, and the way that the game works is, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of like Never Have I Ever, a little bit. Um, but you take out a card and it has a statement on it, and then everybody has to guess if that statement is true or false for you. So you guys in chat will get to guess if stuff is true or false for me. And then if you really want to take it up a notch, like the game itself is 18 plus, but if you really want to take it up a notch, they offer these expansion packs, which we will not be playing on the show today, but they offer a kinky humans expansion pack and a morbid humans expansion pack. And the examples of things they give for those are like for the morbid humans one, it says, I would prefer to freeze to death than burn to death. And then you'd have to guess true or false. And for the kinky humans one, the example is um, saying, uh, I would like to try using handcuffs during sex and you would have to guess true or false. So those are the expansion packs if you want to make it crazy. But um, when I was talking to uh, the person who's involved with this game, they were saying, you know, they wanted to keep it. Yes, it's 18 plus, but have the expansion pack separate in case people wanted to use it for like an office place icebreaker or something like that. So it could be used for lots of different stuff. But anyway, I thought it would be fun. Um, yeah, we're playing a game today. It's good. Oh, Boom12 says the hair looks cool, though. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so it should be, today should be really fun. Uh, Tunerific says, oh, cool, three quarters of those categories. Three, four, three, four out of those four categories easily describe me. Sweet. Yeah, let's see. Uh, sexy, awkward, controversial in general. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. So yeah, it comes in a box that says four to ten humans, 18 plus, 30 to 90 minutes. So we're just going to play it for a little bit. Let's go ahead and open her up. And, uh, oh, this is kind of fun. If you don't want to read directions, they have a how to play online. I always appreciate that. I use uh, Miss Becca Scott's Game the Game on Geek and Sundry quite often so that I don't have to read directions. But it comes with directions. And then it says that the categories are all color-coded. So, uh... Boom12 says, yeah, I like it already, right? Um, Chris says, I don't think I'll ever be able to play this game with other people, but this sounds super fun and I want to get it. <laughs> um, oh, I should mention, uh, if you want to get it, the link to get it is CuriousHumans, CuriousHumansGames.com. Let me just double check that that's the link. Let me double check. I had it pulled up earlier today because I was looking at it. Curious Humans Card Game. Let me see. It is CuriousHumansGame.com. That's where you can go if you want more information on it. And I will put that in the description as well. But CuriousHumansGame.com. Um, but anyway, without any further ado, let's play this dang game. It's going to be fun. Um, and see how well you guys know me, which is probably pretty well. A lot of people have been watching me online for a long time. Hi, Heroes Verderall. Good to see you. Um, let's see. I feel like Jigsaw. Do you want to play a game? Says Daniel Casabon. Right? Um, and yes, Game the Game is great, Stephen Summers. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and uh, the first category, let's start with the general category. And then we'll work our way into maybe general, then awkward, then con controversial, then sexy. That's what we'll do. That sounds good. Okay, so here's the first general card that I just pulled out. And it says, <laughs> I prefer Star Trek to Star Wars. True or false? Go ahead, friends. Take a big old guess. Do I prefer Star Trek over Star Wars? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Hi, Anime Hero. Happy Saturday to you, too. Um, Steven Summer says, I'm getting source-fed plays nostalgic. I know. I actually have a copy of this game that I'm going to drive over to the Valley folk so that they can play it if they want to as well. Um, Garth McMurray says, false. Go Goat in Black says, nope. Anime Hero says, false. Romeo Kid TV uh, says, oh, the Triple H song. Time to play the game. Lots of people are saying false. Danny Hooley says, true. What do we think it is? Uh, hi, Tony Morrow. Good to see you. Hi. No, you do not, says Adventure in Life. And you know what? You guys are all correct. I definitely do not prefer Star Trek to Star Wars. Nothing against Star Trek. I'm just not as well versed in it. And I absolutely love the Star Wars universe. So that is false. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I should show you guys what the true and false cards look like, too. There's like... Some that say true and some that say false. Okay, so let's see. Now let's go to, what did I say, the awkward cards next? We're going to go to the awkward cards next. Here we go. Awkward card. I have run into a glass door or window. True or false? Have I run into a glass door or window? And so the statement is that I have. And you can say true or false. Um... Let's see, I'm waiting for it to catch up because YouTube has such incredible chat lag that a lot of people are still answering the uh, Star Wars, Star Trek one. Okay, I think it's caught up now. Garth McMurray says true. Um, oh, Arkham City Rules says I love Star Wars, just not the Disney era films. Totally get it. You guys are saying true, 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 true. Well, everybody thinks I'm so clumsy. I think everyone has done it. True, true, true. As a kid, true. I'm guessing true. <laughs> Um, you're all absolutely correct. The answer is true. Yes, I have most definitely run into a glass sliding glass door for sure. And I agree. I think that everybody has done it. And anyone who says that they didn't, uh, is full of crap for sure. That's like, um, Joe Barretta always said that everybody has a poop their pants story. And if they tell you they don't have a poop their pants story, then they are totally lying. Um, and that always made me laugh because we're all human. You know, that's the whole point of the naked truth. We're all human. You do you. We are all just as we are, and that's okay. Okay, so next I'll go to controversial. I have no idea what these are. This is kind of terrifying for me. Okay, controversial question. I believe the government hides the existence of extraterrestrials. True or false? What do you think? Humans are clumsy people, Chris. I agree. I've run into a screen door, says Daniel Casavon. Oh, yeah. Nathan says, I love you and Maude together. Oh, that's great. I love Maude together. I love, <laughs> I love Maude together, too. No, I love hanging out with Maude. She's the best. Okay. Uh, Garth McMurray guesses false. So, again, it's, I believe the government hides the existence of extra extraterrestrials. Um, okay. Fingernails and hair match. They kind of do, Andre. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of trues. Of, oh, this one's pretty mixed, true and false. Uh, I would feel like you questioning things is true. True, ET phone home. Hard to say. False, probably, says GK Gamer fan. Um, okay, I'll give you the answer. I kind of do. It's kind of true. So um, I do think that the government hides things that they find that might be considered evidence of extraterrestrial life. Um, I don't think that is released to the public. But uh, do I know for sure that they've found aliens and are hiding it from us? No. But do I think they're hiding evidence of it, which I believe is what the card said? Then yes, I think so. I also love Roswell, Boom 12. It was a good series. <laughs> I also am one of those people that's like, I like to keep my mind open to the unknown. If we don't know, I'm not going to be the person that says, I definitely know for sure that blank. Um, 
Like, you know, if we if we can't prove that it does exist, then to me that doesn't prove that it doesn't. It just means we have more to explore. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think it's fun to think that. Oh, some people are two for three. <laughs> Steven Summer says, so what you're saying is let's storm Area 51. No, because I think those people will all get murder balled and I do not want to be involved there. If they're hiding stuff from me, they're hiding it for a reason. Um, <laughs> nah, no way, says Adam Marshall. Okay, so now let's go on to a sexy card. We'll see what these say. I hope it's nothing that my mom's like super in shame, ashamed of me talking about on the internet. Sorry, mom. Um, okay. Oh, this is funny. Okay. Uh, this is one of the sexy cards. It says, bald men or women turn me on. Bald men or women turn me on. True or false? True or false? Pretty funny. Frankie Johnson says, with the size of the galaxy or universe, it's impossible that we are alone. I, I agree with that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Garth Van Murray says, true. True, true, true. Llama Dungeon says, false. Frankie Johnson says, false. Now there's lots of falses coming in. False, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Wow. So funny. Arkham City Rules says, I prefer the bald eagle. Uh, also bald women. True Picard. <laughs> That's a very specific statement. False, says Adam Marshall. Um, my husband is not bald. Boom 12. But Romeo Kid TV brings up a good point. It says, wait, the rock is bald, so it could be true. I say 50-50. Um, I'm going to say false only because... A bald head does not specifically turn me on. Like, if it's part of a complete package, then the bald head can be super sexy. And I've definitely found bald people very attractive, but not, like, specifically because they're bald. I had a friend in college who was so into bald dudes. Um, like, if a guy shaved his head, that, to her, was, like, the hottest thing that could ever happen, ever. And so that's someone I would say that would definitely answer yes to that question. Because it almost didn't even matter what the guy looked like. If he was a bald guy, she was, like, into it. Um, so it's not that strong for me, for sure. But I definitely have found bald people attractive before. That's the answer. The rock doesn't count, says Corey. And Sigourney Weaver in Alien 3 looked amazing. Agreed. <laughs> Oh, so funny. You guys are hilarious. All right, circling it back around. I'm just going to start picking cards at random now and we'll go through them. This is very silly. Thank you for playing this game with me today. Oh, okay. I am an organ donor from the general. True or false? I am an organ donor. True or false? What do you think? Am I an organ donor? True or false? All right, let's see. You still got her number, says v, v Viper. No, I don't, unfortunately. I'm sorry. And yes, Vin Diesel, Louis F. is another great one. Um, true, 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 true. A lot of people are saying true to this one. And you would be correct. I am an organ do donor. Organ here, little, little. I am an organ donor. True, very, very true. Yay, huzzah. I mean, if I'm not using them, someone might as well. That's how I feel about that. Okay, let's go to another controversial one. Controversial. I believe in homeopathy, alternative medicine. There we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Do I believe in homeopathy, alternative medicine? So I, the, the... The statement is that I do. So true or false? Trisha believes in homeopathic medicine. Uh, this is fun, Arkham City. Oh, Boom 12 said that was the first wrong one. <laughs> oh, Kyle Ellis brings up a good point. I am a potential donor. I have not donated yet but on my license there is the organ donor sticker you're right 
Um, true, true, false. To some extent, you do. I hope false. Placebo is strong, at least mostly false. I'm going to say no false. I have a hunch. You guys are hilarious. Oh, please, no. <laughs> These answers are cracking me up. GK says, I don't, but I think Trisha does. <laughs> Amazing. I'd say you haven't given it much thought, but I'd say true. I actually have given it much thought because I have friends and family members who are strong believers in homeopathic medicine. And so uh, it has been brought up in my household a lot. But... The final answer is uh, that for the most part, I do not put much stock in homeopathic medicine. Um, I do think that maybe it's kind of like an interesting thing to try, but when you get really sick, I would say go to the doctor, or go to the hospital for sure. Um, or if you've tried everything else and you need something else to try, then go for it. I do think there probably is some truth in a lot of it. I just don't feel good enough about the evidence to back it up. Now, that being said, I, I have not delved super into it, but I have friends and family members who have. And if they tell me to try something, provided I can't find anything against it, I'll give it a try. But I'm also going to go to the doctors. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, Boom12 says it's like funky ginseng type solutions. LOL. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, what's up? A little man says Adam Stanley. A little man is napping. Yes. Um, he married you by said, someone pick up that phone because I called it. <laughs> yes. Anti-vaxxers are a different thing. 100%. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 I consider homeopathic medicine to be stuff like, um, uh, just like kind of natural, um, tonics and elixirs and like using ginseng when you have a belly ache and stuff like that where it's just like kind of home remedies um but yeah I don't I when it gets serious that doesn't work for me um all right we cannot believe Gwyneth Paltrow does Gwyneth Paltrow believe in homeopathic medicine I didn't know that all right we're gonna do an awkward one I like to sing along to Disney movies when I am alone I like to sing along to Disney movies when I am alone. Hello there, Smooth Mall Raider. Let's see. Booze is my alternative medicine, says Stephen Summers. You know, for some people, when I was younger, I remember being like, oh, I have a cold. I'm just going to drink it away. Not recommended. <laughs> Drinking water is good for you. Yeah. For sure. Okay, you guys are saying true to the, I like to sing Disney songs when I'm home alone. True, true, true. Oh, everyone's saying true. Humor Jubai says absolutely true. Dreadley says true. Why not? I feel like everybody does. Um, Daniel Casabon says, ooh, false. So there's one false. Anybody, everyone else is saying 100% true. Um, that's an easy true, says, are we dead yet? Yeah, you guys are right. This is this is 100% true. I sing Disney songs when I'm not alone. I sing them to my baby. I sing them in the car. I sing Disney songs, I mean, as often as I can because they're delightful and fun. <laughs> okay, next one. You sing Disney in public, says Kyle Ellis. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Shady X says, I mean, I worked at a toy store when Frozen came out. Oh, yeah, you're done. <laughs> okay, here is another sexy question. Oh, this says, I would star in a porn film for $10,000. I would star in a porn film for $10,000. Do you think that's true or false? Man, we went from Disney to starring in a porn film. That's pretty funny. I'm taking out the ones that we've done already so I don't pick up them again. So funny. Oh my, says Yimurjubai. Uh, so far, lots of people are saying false. Hard no. False. <laughs> pretty funny. You guys are pretty funny. I doubt it. False, false, haha, ha, false. Nope. 
only 10K, says Studley Mare. False. Um, you are all correct. My immediate thought was only 10K. False. No way, man. I don't, honestly, at this point in my life, and at this point in my career, there is no way. There there was there would be no amount of money. I know people are like, everybody has a price, what's yours? Sorry, game. Uh-uh. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <sighs> emphasis on hard, says Daniel Casabon. You're right. You know what? Hard no. Emphasis on hard. Hey! Uh, yeah, adventure in life says resounding no way. I don't think you'd even do it for $100 million. Yeah, you're completely correct. Okay, I'd do it, says Smooth Operator. <laughs> See, that's why this game is fun. You get to learn a little bit about everybody that you are at the metaphorical table with, you know? <laughs> yeah, my first thought was only 10K, no way. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got in here. Um, oh, I prefer celebrating Halloween to Easter. I prefer celebrating Halloween Easter. At first, I thought it said Halloween to Christmas, and I was like, this is tough. Do I prefer celebrating Halloween to Easter? Ha, 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 ha. Um, Boom12 says, when my friend talked type on Frozen 2, I almost wanted to recommend her to watch Westworld since Evan Rachel Wood is in Frozen, but I held back. Yep, Disney's great. I think many here would do it for one million, says Dreadley. Oh, man, really? Uh, okay, you guys are saying true. True. A lot of people think true. Nathan S. says Easter's a garbage holiday. I don't agree with that. Romeo Kid TV says false. Um, Frankie Johnson says being a cosplayer. I'm sure that it's true. Lewis says, who likes Easter more than Halloween? Um, Danny Holy says tough, but I'm going to guess true. Corey says all cosplayers prefer Halloween. I do prefer Halloween to Easter. Um, I do enjoy celebrating both of them. Both of them involve candy and chocolate, which is lovely. Um, I think as a kid, maybe I liked Easter more because the Easter egg hunting was fun. But now as an adult, it's fun to like watch Little Man Easter egg hunt. But it's m more fun to watch him get dressed up and go around house to house. So I'm gonna, I like them both, but I'm going to say Halloween for sure. Okay. One more awkward. <laughs> I like Justin Bieber's music. True or false? I like Justin Bieber's music. True or false? That's a funny one. That is funny. How awkward am I? Um... Jeff Dumas says, I would do it at some point, but just for the charity opportunities of piles of cash. I assume you're still in the porn question. <laughs> oh, man. Tunerific has nine out of nine. Way to go. Because you watched SourceFed from the very beginning. Yeah, totally. Um, let's see. Okay, we're getting a lot of uh, true, false, true, false, false. Uh, please be false. False, false, true, true, maybe. True, true, false. Oh, this is so funny. I hope false for Beaver. <laughs> and Danny only says, I think you do, true. <laughs> this is great. Beef Viper says, everyone loves the Beebs. To Pepe says, kind of. His old stuff is okay, but sorry, slaps true. Um, okay, ready for the answer? I like Justin, I, what does it say? I listen to Justin Bieber's music or I like Justin Bieber's music. While I do not care for Justin Bieber's person and celebrity uh, lifestyle, some of his older music's pretty catchy. And if it came on the radio, I would totally like groove to that a little. That being said, do I own any Bieber albums or anything like that? No, but there have definitely been times that I'd be like, you know, like, baby, 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 no comes on, and I'm like, it's a catchy song. Yeah. Daniel Casabon says, who's Justice Beaver? See, you know what? That's the right answer. See, that's an awkward one. I just admitted that it's that's a little awkward. Okay, game. Okay. And we'll do one more sexy question. And then probably call it. Oh, this is very sexy. 
Okay. I, I'm so embarrassed. I'm sorry, Mom. Look, my face is like turning red. Uh, the statement is, I have had group sex, meaning four or more people. True or false? This is very, very salty. This is very uh, spicy, not salty. This is quite spicy, I should say. Oh, man, I'm going to have to, like, label this one 18 plus. Woo! Uh-oh, says Daniel Casamon. <laughs> Source fed nerd said, what in the world did I wake up to? <laughs> That's a big false. Victoria Rogers says false. Um, oh, you guys are so funny. False, definitely false, says Zendway. Nat H says false. False. Oh, we know how close SourceFed was. You're ridiculous. No one at SourceFed, I should say, of the OG six, no one at SourceFed ever boned anybody else at SourceFed. We were all like siblings. That's gross. Um, I love them, but not like that. Baraka says false threesomes only. You know, according to that card, threesomes do not count. It's asking if you have had sexy time with four or more people in a given time. It's hot in here, says Boom12. I know, right? Uh, Adventure in Life says, no freaking way. False with falls on top of false. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Chris Greenmoose says, would you tell us if it was true? I mean, I am a big stickler for the rules. And if those are the rules of the game, uh, you know, and, and it is true, I will tell you that. Everyone saw Steve's butt, though, says so see, see some 90. That's true. Everyone saw Steve's butt, like, all the time. Oh, man. Louis F., you can interpret what I said any way you want, but I stand by my original, my original days, my original statement. Okay, so the answer to the question, I... I have had group sex with four or more people. The answer to that question is false. I have not. <laughs> but can you imagine if I had and I admitted it to the whole internet, my mom would be so mad. <laughs> oh my God, I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So, so, so ridiculous. Um, but yes, so this is the type of game that Curious Humans is. And uh, I'm going to thank Curious Humans for sending me this game because when I was thinking about what topic to do for this week's Naked Truth, I was like, what are we going to talk about? And I thought of some that I was like, oh, those are a little more serious than I want to get into right now. And some that were like fluffy, but that I've kind of done before. So I thought this would be something new. So I have done the Naked Truth on sexy party games before, but I have not actually played a sexy party game on the Naked Truth before. So thank you guys for playing with me, uh, for playing this game. <laughs> uh, Humor Dubai says, oh, that's the phone. And it's my mom. That would be so hilarious right now. Um so 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 funny so thank you guys um but anyway uh this is a big week coming up for me i have if you're around and you like live streams tomorrow i will be streaming to my twitch channel at the normal time 10 a.m playing some games probably trying to beat control still or maybe some uh outer worlds we'll see but tomorrow I'll be streaming at my normal time, but might have some new assets for you to check out that we could, could be cool, some new graphics and stuff. And then Monday at 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, I'm doing a big charity Twitch stream on Twitch's front page. Ah, it'll be the first time that my Twitch channel has ever had Twitch front page. And I'm raising money for 1000 Dreams Fund, which is a charity that aims to fulfill people's dreams for the section of 1000 Dreams Funds that's called Broadcast Her, that specifically supports up and coming and up and coming female streamers and women who want to stream but don't know how to get started, um, which I thought this is a great cause that I'm maybe the perfect person to raise money for because I'm always telling people to pursue their dreams of streaming and that it's very easy to get started and so I'm very happy to be a part of that but from 1 o'clock to 3 p.m. on Monday will be the charity fundraiser for Broadcast Her and I have a lot of surprises and giveaways set up for that and like 
some amazing giveaways like will blow your mind giveaways if we hurt certain milestones from HyperX, from Newegg, from XSplit, all like equipment. I won't spoil it, but all equipment to help you stream better. So that's going to be Monday at 1 on my Twitch channel. And then Tuesday at 10 a.m. on my Twitch channel, I am finally launching the brand new Twitch Gong Show, which uh, has been lovingly named by my Twitch audience Speed Dating for Indie Games, where we show off a bunch of indie, ga- indie games some completely ridiculous and off the wall, some very legit and artistic and beautiful, some brand new, some are still in beta or alpha and very early, and we ask for real-time feedback and chat gets to vote in real time whether a game gets gonged or we love it, it's perfect, it's amazing as is. Um, And so that's Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. on Twitch front page again, two days in a row, yay Dragon Riders. Um, So it's going to be a crazy next couple days. So I ask if you guys like Twitch at all, twitch.tv slash Trisha Hirschberger. If you like live streams at all, please come on by. It's going to be so fun. Um, Chris Jensen says, this was very fun. Could we do one like this every like one or two months, like play a game? Um, maybe a different one. Yes, that would be amazing. I think that's a great idea. I've been struggling with how to do tabletop games because I don't have the setup to film tabletop games in the way that I would want to. But if there's something like this that I can play with you guys, um, then yeah. That would be really fun, and I would love to keep doing that. So again, if you guys want to check this out, um, CuriousHumansGame.com, and uh, thank you to them for sending me this game. That's very cool. Um, Daniel Casablan, yes, I try to be a busy bee. You're absolutely right. Um, Studley Maris says, and I have Monday off, so it must be Kismet. Yay! I will see you guys there. Um, So thank you all for being here, and yeah. I will hopefully see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. If not, maybe Monday at 1. And if not, maybe Tuesday at 10. All right. Bye, everybody. Oh, and there'll be another Naked Truth in two weeks like always. Okay. Bye and stuff.